Let's talk about our forecast. Shall Lonnie we? Quinn's here. Yeah, Lonnie, a little change up in the weather, maybe? Yeah, you're going to start feeling the humidity bumping up tomorrow. But, you know, as far as today goes, what a great looking day out there. I will say a little bit of a haziness overhead right now. And that's the picture I've got over my shoulder. You're looking out over the city, and yeah. Little bit of a hazy sky, 81 degrees. Your humidity is nice and low, so that feels great outside. 81, that's where you currently rest right now. It's a little bit warmer earlier in the day, but here are my headlines for you. I mean, it was just a great looking day out there today, a great feeling day because of the low humidity. Tomorrow, you're still going to be on the dry side. All right, no rain for tomorrow, but you're going to start feeling the humidity going up. And then on Wednesday, the humidity even goes up higher, and that's the day we start adding some rain. Could be some strong storms out there later Wednesday, getting into Thursday. But let's talk about what we have currently around the area outside of the city, okay? We, we just said we're 81 in town. Teaneck comes in as the hot spot at 87, and the coolest reading anywhere, Riverhead, right now at 77 degrees. So there's a good 10-degree span out there. Everybody else? sort of sandwiched in between somewhere. Vortex satellite and radar. It's calm, it's quiet, with the, with the exception. A little bit of that haziness pushing through. You're not gonna squeeze any moisture out of it. It's a high, thin cloud, doesn't hold any moisture. Your bigger picture will show you what's going on. Down to our south, and you can see it right there. That's where we see the showers and the storm. That's also, see, also where we see the big time humidity. So is that gonna make its way here tomorrow? Well, for the most part, our high pressure is strong enough. It's gonna keep it sort of suppressed down to the south. So I don't think any of this rain gets in here tomorrow. I think you'll start to feel a little bit more humidity. I think that rain gets here more on Wednesday, later Wednesday, certainly on Thursday as well. So let's start talking some numbers here. For tonight, it's quiet out there. A little bit of the humidity squeaks in here at 69 degrees. Then for your day tomorrow, well, we're going to have more humidity. We know that for sure. I just don't think it's going to result in a lot of wet weather. Is there any to be had out there? Yeah, some could squeak in north and west of the city. It's about a 20% storm chance there. But I think the better bet for rain would wait until Wednesday. But look at tomorrow's high temperature, 86. With added humidity, it's going to feel hotter than that. I think the most humid and hottest day will wait until Wednesday, and that's when I'm forecasting 89. I think some areas inland will find the 90-degree mark, and it just looks to be a uh, pretty decent chance for some pop-up showers and storms on Wednesday. They get into Thursday. I think some will linger there at 85. Friday's going to be sort of a nice change because things will start to clear out, get a little drop in humidity, and you're looking at 83. And then lo and behold, again, we look ahead to the, to the weekend. I mean, I've got a pure sunny sky for Saturday at 83 and Sunday, mostly sunny at 84. Again, subject to change, still quite a ways off, but that's how the patterns are setting up right now. You know, we're almost at the end of July already. We haven't had one heat wave yet this summer. Isn't it crazy? The whole month of July so far, we've only had three 90-degree days. That works. Don't jinx it.